Hey, how's it going YouTube? Uh, in today's video I want to show you guys how to remove file details uh, or ownership details of a file so when people check the details of a file they won't be able to attribute or say that oh this file was made by Bob or this file was made by such and such person the reason you might want to do this um, for instance in my workplace we produce uh, certain DVDs and those DVDs um, uh, like power, they have PowerPoint presentations and stuff like that so we don't want uh, well before we produce it in like thousands of quantities we don't want people to know that oh um, you know Tech Void's computer made this uh, file um, that's just unwanted details so uh, we remove those details so in this video I'm going to show you guys how to do that um, first off, I'm just going to save a file here for just, for example, purposes. So, test file. This is just a Microsoft Word. I'm just saving it. it this could be any file. This is not just for Word, uh, this, this method. So, let me save it. I will save it to my desktop. I'll save. And we'll click close and you'll see that here's my file test file dot doc so this file if we actually look at the details right now um, I'm, I just right clicked it so when it shows up then we'll click properties and then once we have these properties you'll notice that uh, there's a details tab here um, I'm using Windows 8 on uh, endpoint 8.1 uh, Windows 8 and Windows 7 also will have these details tab sometimes Windows XP doesn't show the details tab so um, here when you go to the details you'll see there's a lot of uh, a lot of diff lot of information here so in terms of um, things like who authored it it's it'll it'll show there's you know Windows users authored it how many revisions there's been um, what program I used uh, editing time all of this information is recorded when you're working on a file a lot of us we don't know this but it is there and uh, sometimes we don't want other people to know this information it could be for a totally different reason but we don't want anyone to know this information for example so we want to remove it so to remove all that information uh, we have a few options that we could uh, do so first off uh, if we wanted you could select the actual field that you want you don't want anymore so for example the author and I could press backspace and I deleted it so you'll see that um, that field has become empty now so you can manually go ahead and delete the fields that you don't want uh, but the other way to do it is we can select remove properties and personal information and we'll click on that and this window will open remove properties so from here uh, we have two options we can this, uh, we can select the first option which says create a copy with all possible properties removed so what this does is it'll keep the original file that we made intact it won't delete any of its information it'll stay the same but it'll make a copy of it with all possible properties removed so what that means is it'll remove all all deletable uh, fields it'll clear that out and then the second option is remove the following properties from this file so if we select this one now what we can do is we can manually go ahead and just check off the fields that we don't want we can manually select those fields and then we can delete and those fields will be cleared out nothing will stay this uh, stay there um, the other way to do that or or, uh, or for in my case I want to delete everything so I'll just select all we'll click on this select all button and then you'll see that everything gets checked off and um, all those fields will get deleted but notice that some of these fields are uh, you can't check them off there it's generic information that uh, will always stay on the file and that can't be deleted but everything else uh, that has a checkbox can be deleted so things like content at, uh, created date last saved these this is just generic information and that will always be there um, so after that we'll just click OK and notice that all those fields that were there before uh, author, last saved, revision number, the program name where it says Microsoft Word all that got cleared out 
so now it's just the generic information that uh, has to stay on the file that'll be there so once you're done that that's pretty much it now we've cleared all file details or the property details and ownership information of a file we'll click apply click OK and then now if we go back and we look at the details everything has been cleared so uh, for whatever uh, different purpose that you would want to do this or uh, to delete this file uh, delete the file details sorry uh, now you know how to do it I hope this video helped you guys out uh, that's pretty much the entire process of clearing out all the file details if you wanted to now you could go ahead and just manually enter uh, inf information here as well you can manually enter the details uh, that you want so you know I could enter a tech board here revision number 1.5.4 or wh whatever it might be just hit apply hit ok and then if I look at properties again go to details all my new information is now there so uh, yeah that's pretty much the entire process this is a feature that not many people know about but I hope this video uh, helped you guys out with learning learning how to do it and uh, please don't forget to comment and let me know what you guys thought about the video uh, rate and subscribe thanks guys and take care see you in the next video